Hey, everybody. I found a way to get on and I'm on because nothing's going to stop me. I had a message for you guys today. And I'm delayed. So. Okay, I'm taking this off. Okay, listen. I think you guys can hear me. I can see your chats and everything. So I think that they blocked me from my phone from getting on. So now I'm on, okay? I'm on through Zoom. I think you guys can follow me pretty well. So anyway, I wanted to share something with you. This is so heavy on my mind. Yes, hey, Jeremy, I'm back on. So listen, okay, I'm so hot. So if I'm playing around with my hair, it's because I'm literally sweating. Anyway, God's been showing me some things and I've had this amazing revelation. I want to share this with you. It took me years to get here, like a lot of years to get here, but I wanted to share this with you because God gives us help and he's the mighty counselor and he helps us through the things that we're going through. Okay. Hey, William, I'm going to wait for you guys to jump on. Why can't we get along? I hope you guys can hear me well. Let me know if I'm clear and I'm not echoing or anything. I have to take my earbuds off. So why can't we get along? Okay, so I don't know about you guys, but how many times in your life have you gone through your life and wondered to yourself, they're a Christian, I'm a Christian. Why can't we get along? They're a Christian. I'm a Christian. This is an ongoing problem, okay? Among church folk, in the church, in the ministries, in prayer meetings, within your family, your, your cousins, aunts, uncles, mother, father, sister, brothers. You, hey, Ray, I see you jumping on. Ah, okay, so friends, bygone friends, see you in another time, friends, see you in another life, friends. What is going, what in the world, why? You clash. When they contact you, you get along for a little while and your spirits clash. You're, 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 you're butting heads. It's when they, when they ring your phone, your body, you can feel it literally scrunching up and getting tense. When you hear their voice, you get irritated. When they contact you, you get irritated. And they're supposed to be Christians and you are a Christian. Okay? God showed me this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to share this with you. It was such an amazing revelation. What is wrong that we can't get along with everybody? Why can't we get along with everybody? I'm going to tell you why. Okay? This is this kind of stuff they don't teach you in church. This kind of stuff isn't really even in books. This kind of stuff is by revelation of the Holy Spirit, the revealed word of God. This kind of stuff you just don't get just because. Can you guys hear me okay? Let me know. I'm going to tell you what God showed me, and this was so phenomenal, and I'm never going to wonder this again. Okay, because how many people don't we get along with? John 13, 35. By this, everyone will know that you are my disciples if you love one another. What is that? What is that? This is a new commandment. It's a commandment. Okay. Do you know, listen, if anyone says I love God 
and hates his brother. He is a liar. For anyone who does not love his brother or sister, whom he has seen, cannot love God. Cannot, cannot, cannot love God whom he has not seen. Listen to me. I'm going to help you. I'm just laying down the foundation. Okay? 2 John 1, 5. I urge you. I'm not going to read the whole thing. The Bible says love one another. Genesis 13. And there was strife between the herdmen of Abram's cattle and the herdmen of Lot's cattle. I'm going to tell you this. I'm going to share this with you. And this is the pre. This is the bomb. Acts 4, 32 to 35. And the multitude of them that believed were of one heart and of one soul. Neither said any of them that ought of the things which he possessed was his own, but they had all things in common. And do you know they shared with one another if someone, someone was lacking, they shared their possessions. I'm going to tell you why you don't get along with those people. Because they don't have the same Jesus you do. They don't have the same Jesus as you do. Why do I say that? Because when Jesus comes to live inside of you, he changes your heart. He pours out, the, the love of God is poured out in your heart. And you are changed. And now that person's got the same spirit that you do. They got the Holy Spirit, the same spirit that you do. And no matter how much you try to get along with that person, you can't get along with them because their Jesus and your Jesus are two different Jesus. What does that mean? That means they got their own Jesus. Does that make sense? They got their own Jesus. It's not the same Jesus of the Bible. It's a Jesus that was conjured up in their own mind and they follow what they think their ears want to hear with they have itching ears. So they're following this liberal Jesus. They're following this Jesus that says, I can vote for abortion and be okay. I can go to a gay marriage and it's okay. I can, I can support certain lifestyles and it's okay. This Jesus is a different Jesus. Even if they do agree with everything you agree with, they're not really born again. They're religious. Let's say they have the same values as you do. Let's say they have the same convictions as you do. They don't have, they're not truly born again. That's why you don't get along. That's why when you get that phone call from them, that phone call, you cringe. They want to pray with you, you cringe. They're nice for a while, and then they become who they really are. They irritate you so bad that you can't even deal with it. They irritate you so bad that when they call, your body cringes. Because you know you're going to clash like oil and water, but you're supposed to have the same Jesus. I just read this to you, the scriptures. One spirit, one mind, same accord, same spirit same Holy Spirit, you love each other, you're on the same page, you get along, it's peace. Where Jesus is, there is liberty and freedom. When you're not free and you connect with that person and you feel this thing in your spirit of no peace and you're just like, bam, because their spirit and your spirit are too, I don't care if they say they're Jesus believers and quote scriptures and pray. They're not born of the spirit. Listen to me. I'm going to help you with years of suffering of trying to figure it out. They are religious. You are born of the spirit. They're of their father, the devil coming in Jesus name. And you are of God. You're the, the ch children of the light. They're the children of darkness. 
that's why you can't they just clash because light and dark cannot connect and they're repelled against each other it's a war that's why i don't care if they say they believe in jesus why are you clashing why are you flat why are you button heads it's not a personality thing let's go in the spirit they're of their father the devil you are of jesus christ i don't jesus said many will come in my name saying i am the christ and shall deceive many they come in jesus name into your life and they don't like you they don't even know why they don't like you we know why because their spirit and your spirit are two different spirits they they don't get you don't get along it's like it's it, it's it's heavy it's strife it's it's no love there it is darkness because the darkness cannot stand the light it is repelled by the light it runs from the light right hey dean dean says it's crazy you're having this live podcast i was just having this conversation with someone because they have an evil spirit listen to me you guys this is real god showed me this recently all my life of serving god he showed me this recently i am not confused anymore i'm not i'm not blinded anymore to this evil where there's no peace there's no jesus he leads us besides the still waters. He gives us peace. Whether the spirit of the Lord is, there's liberty, there's freedom. There is freedom. You have peace, joy, love, kindness, gentleness, self-control. You have the fruit of the spirit. You have the fruit of love that you guys, if you're my disciples, love one another. The world knows by the love we have for one another that we belong to him. But these crazy folk come in Jesus name and they call you and you're like, yeah, yeah. Hey, you know, we're in the end times. Oh yeah. Yeah. I know. I know. I'm praying every day. Oh, wow. They talk about themselves. It's all about them. They don't care how you're doing. They only do things for you that make them feel good about themselves. And you're on the phone and you can't wait to get off the phone because you're like, man, this person is so selfish. They're so, they're so narcissistic, so full of themselves. They don't care if you're dead or alive. Because if you, they don't get what you, if they don't get their way, if they don't get the stuff they want from you, they are going to make sure they are passive aggressive. They're going to punish you. They're going to make sure you know and you feel unloved. That is the demonic realm. That is the demonic realm. Listen to me, you guys. These are the children of darkness coming in Jesus' name. Where the spirit of God is, there's liberty. There's freedom. There is joy in the relationship. There is peace in the relationship. There's love, kindness in the relationship. They don't just walk with you one mile, but they walk with you two miles. They care about your welfare. The children of darkness don't. They only care about your welfare if they get what they're wanting from you. They have an agenda. They're controlled by the prince of darkness. And God will let you see spirits on them. God will let you see things on them. They will fight you. They will think you are Mr. or Mrs. Goody Two Shoes they'll say to you you don't sin oh mr mrs perfect they'll start cussing on the phone listen you'll be on the phone they'll be praying with you the next thing you know they're cussing the next thing you know they're sleeping around the next thing you know they're getting angry at you next thing you know they got a short temper and a fuse with you no self-control they're irritated by you because they're of the children of darkness they're not the children of light remember the children of light and the children of the day are the lords in him there is no darkness in him there is light in the lord there is light you are the children of light 
That's why you can't get along with this person that's coming in Jesus name, because they got some other spirit that you're like, wait a minute. I, I don't like them. I don't like them. I don't like, I don't like who they are. I don't have any peace around them. They steal my joy. They irritate me so bad. And I irritate them so bad because they are of darkness. They are of the children of darkness. There is no freedom in the atmosphere. There's no freedom on your phone calls. There's no freedom in your life. There's no love. Jeremy says, those are people that call themselves spiritual. Listen, demons are spiritual. Demons are spiritual. When someone says they're spiritual, you better check and find out what kind of spirits that means. Okay, so this is what I wanted to share with you. Don't be alarmed. Listen, Acts 4, 32 to 35. This can be a pastor. This can be a pastor. And you guys are clashing, bam, clashing. Don't get along. Don't same different doctrine. Oh, come on. You can drink in church. You can bring your beers to church. You can go to the bars and still be saved. And you're like, uh-uh. Children of darkness, children of light, children of darkness, children of light. This pastor is saying, you can do whatever you want. You can sin and go to heaven. You're saying you can't do whatever you want. God says you got to repent every day. I repent every day. You got to repent daily. This pastor is saying, you know what? Or this person is saying, listen, I repented once. I don't have to repent again. And you're freaking out. And there's a clash, 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 bam, bam, bam. And there's no peace. There's confusion. God is not the author of confusion. Listen, they're not even happy you're saved. There are some Christian confessing, professing folk that are not even happy you're saved. They can't stand your Jesus. They like their Jesus. They can't stand your Jesus. Listen to me. They can't stand your Jesus. They think your Jesus is too strict. They think your Jesus is out there too extreme. Their Jesus is real tolerant, kind, loving, doesn't live like you. you can, they can do whatever they want that you're clashing because they are the children of darkness and you are the child of the king. There is no peace, saith my God to the wicked. There is no peace in these relationships. We're in the end times. This is what's happening in the end times. Darkness. This is a different Jesus, a different spirit. It's a different gospel. If any if any, even an angel were to come and preach another gospel, let him be accursed. These people have a different Jesus, a different gospel, a different doctrine. We must contend for the faith. These folk don't even care if you're saved. They don't even care if you're on your way to hell. They don't even care. They won't even post a scripture on Facebook or in social media. They don't want any. They're ashamed of God. And you're posting scriptures and you're doing stuff. You're living for God. They ain't living for God. That's why you clash. Deep down inside, they got an anger for you because it's a demon spirit. These are spirits and people that come to you in Jesus name. They will call you. They'll do things for you. Listen, the devil knows how to get into our lives with a need. And he'll come in Jesus name. And he will infiltrate your life and he will try to steal your peace, your joy. He, the devil is after your joy. He's going to send the fiery darts of the enemy right at you. He's going to make you think that you're a bad Christian because this person annoys you so bad. You're getting annoyed because this person is of a different Jesus. You can't penetrate their demonic armor. You can't seem to get through to them that you got to have be born again of the spirit. That's why they can keep looking at porn. 
That's why they can keep looking. That's why they can keep cussing in a road rage. That's why they're greedy. That's why they go to see, look at horoscopes. That's why they can show their private parts on a text and sexting. This is why. That's why they follow half naked people on social media. They're of the prince of darkness. Do you understand? We are the children of light. We've been changed, bought with the price, the blood of Jesus. That's why they can't stop. That's why you guys clash. You're both professing Christians, but of a different Jesus. They claim they're saved. You claim you're saved, but their Jesus is liberal. Their Jesus can mix different religions. Their Jesus is a new age Jesus. Their Jesus is not strict, they say, like yours. He's not so, so religious, they say, like yours. He's not so under the law like they claim you are. I'm trying to help you guys, okay? And I'm just about done. I'm trying to help you guys. That when you have true believers, you have love for one another. You care about each other. You see, you can call people and they'll, they'll return your call. You can call people, reach out to them. How are you? I'm thinking about you. They're gonna return your call because they care about you, okay? They're not gonna blow you off. They're not gonna diss you. They're not gonna, it's not under, gonna be under their control. They're not gonna monopolize the conversations. They're going to go out of their way and go the extra mile to keep their word. They don't break their word. You will never have to wonder why this professing Christian looks at porn, doesn't keep his word, monopolizes a conversation, gets irritable and upset, is up and down in their emotions, doesn't is dabbling here, dabbling in this new age technique, going there, going here, everywhere, you know, having a hard time with the opposite sex, having a struggle with pornography, having a hard time with the same sex. Listen, this is all in one hodgepodge pot. I wish I had a, I wish I, I wish glass. You just put everything in the glass and you stir it around and you drink it. So much poison in it. You don't even know it's there. And you, the true believers as a Christian, you're like, I can't believe you're drinking this. I can't believe that you're drinking the Kool-Aid. And they're fighting with you. And they're into all this conspiracy theories and crazy stuff. And you're like, what? Children of the devil and the children of God. Pastors of the devil and the children of God. That's why you don't feel love from some of these pastors. That's why you see the pulpit full of narcissism. That's why you don't get phone calls from the church. Hey, are you alive? You okay? Can we help you? It's a building of narcissism. This is why you try to make friendships or dating relationships, or you marry a person that's a narcissist. And you're like, um, are you going to ask me how I'm doing? Are you going to find out how my life is? You don't have to. Don't just cut them off. Cut these people out of your life. Lovers of self, unholy, without natural affection from such turn away. Get away from people that are dark. That's why you don't have peace and joy. You let them steal the peace and joy that God gives you by the spirit. That's why you can't put your finger on it. You're like, man, they say they're Christian. They read the Bible, they pray, but man, they get under my skin because they don't have that love by the love for one another, the love. You'll know them by the love that they have for you. If anyone says they know God, but they don't love their brother or sister, 
They are a liar. They lie. They're children of darkness versus the children of light. How can you say you love God, but you hate your sister? Or you hate your brother? How can you say you love God? But they come in Jesus' name, yes. I mean, you don't know they pray. They even, some of them even pray in tongues. I mean, some of them, they know scripture a lot. They pray every morning or every night. They got their Bible out. They're praying up a storm. They, they, oh, Jeremy, uh, Jeremy, they're Jesus tell them that they can buy their way out of hell with good deeds and donations. I just posted that scripture. If I give everything I have to the poor and give my body to be burned, but I don't have love, I am nothing. That's kind of conflicting, isn't it? It's a, it seems like people that do good deeds, like give everything to the poor and give their body to be burned that they're, that's love. Jesus just said that. I just posted that scripture. If I give everything I have, second Corinthians, I think it's first Corinthians three or second Corinthians three, what love is. Love doesn't do any harm to its neighbor. You can sell everything you got. You can do good charitable deeds and still not go to heaven because you're a child of the devil not the child of God because you don't care about the welfare like the good Samaritan. You don't care about your neighbor. You don't care about your brothers or sisters in Christ. You don't care if another believer is dead or alive. You can't even reach out to them because you got an attitude with them because they're blessed and they got peace and God's speaking to them and God gives them revelation and God gives them joy. And you got all this stuff and you got no joy, no peace. Everything, all the people and relationships are screwed up in your life and you can't see it, but you still come in Jesus name because you don't have love. You're a child of the devil. You got darkness and hatred in your life. Listen to me. You don't keep your word and you deceive people. Oh, Jesus told me to do this for you. God spoke to my spirit and said to do this for you. And you don't keep your word. You don't follow through on anything except what's convenient for you. You're a child of the darkness, child of the devil. The child, children of light keep their word and they go out of their way. They do things that are even more than they even were asked to do. They go out of their way to show the spirit of excellence in favor of God. They, if you have a need, they go beyond the need. The children of darkness, they'll give you the crumbs off the table. Remember rich man, the rich man and Lazarus. He gave the crumbs. He gave the least that he could. And Lazarus, and he died. They both died. And the rich man went to hell. Listen, you could be that rich man mentality making 50,000 a year and be greedy as a son of hell. You can, you are hoarding and storing things for yourselves. You're a child of darkness. And then there's children of light that give. They can't give enough. They keep giving and it's not enough. They wish they had more to give. They give to the kingdom, not store up treasures on earth. These are the children that come in Jesus' name of darkness. They big build bigger buildings. They have bigger bank accounts. They keep sowing seeds for money. These are children of darkness. The children of the light, they sow, they sow into the kingdom of God. They have treasures in heaven. They know that they can't take it with them. They sow generously to the people of God that are putting forth the gospel of Jesus Christ. They don't care about their treasures on earth. Just like that one man that was building the barns and he had so much, he said, I'm going to build a bigger barn, that parable. And God said, this night, your life will be required of you because all that man thought of is how he can accumulate more and more on this earth. 
these are the children of darkness. The children of darkness will make sure that you get sexually stirred up. The children of darkness will come in Jesus' name in church and they will, they will slowly undress you. They will seduce you. They will make sure that they pull down their pants and you take off your shirt. They will bring wine over your house. They will get you loose. They will send you naked pictures, the children of darkness that come in Jesus' name. They come by seducing spirits and they bring doctrines of devils into your life. These are the women that are ever, they are laden down with lust. They are easily deceived. And these are men that are the seducers and women too. They are the children of darkness coming in Jesus' name. They're the wheat and the tares. They're the goat and the sheep, the right hand and the left hand. The left hand is here in my screen. It's in my body. It's here, the children of darkness and the children of the light. But they'll say, Lord, Lord, did we not prophesy in your name? Cast out demons in your name. Did wonderful works in your name prophesied and the lord said i never knew you depart from me you that work lawlessness or iniquity you did not do the will of my father these are unrepented ungenerate children of darkness coming in jesus name they will cast out devils in his name they will speak with they will they will prophesy in his name and they are children of darkness that's why you don't have peace with these pastors and these friends that you run into and these people in your church and in the ministry. They're children of darkness. They don't care about you. They just want to be seen by the leadership. They just want to be seen by people. They just want to be seen on the stage and in ministries. There are those Pharisees that when they fast, they look sickly on the street corners and they pray these great prayers to be seen. They're the ones that go and feed the homeless. And they're the ones that take pictures so you could see all their homeless people that they're feeding. This is why I don't post stuff that I do. Nobody knows what I do except my closest confidants, inner circle. Nobody knows who I give to. Nobody knows who I minister to unless it's a testimony of demons being cast out of that woman that I recently, that came on live. These are children of darkness versus the children of light. This is why your pastors don't check on you because they're hirelings. They're paid help. When the wolf comes, he runs. The wolf comes and scatters the sheep. These wolves are coming and these watchmen don't watch you. They are children of darkness. They are hired help. You know, sometimes I feel the spirit of the Lord is on me. And these are one of the times I feel that God's spirit is on me. These hirelings that come in when you're sick, they don't come to see you. It'll be a day, Lord, Lord, when did we see you in prison and come to visit you? When were you sick and we came to see about you? When were you hungry and we didn't, and we, and we fed you? When? because they don't care about that. They don't care if you're sick in prison, if you're hungry, if you're naked, if you're thirsty, they care about being seen. They care about their offices and their titles. They care about pleasing men rather than pleasing God. And God said, if you're a man pleaser, you cannot please God. I'm done now, I think I'm done. This is why these church folk irritate you or they don't even have to go to church. They can be your family members. They can be your family members. They can all, all your entire family can say they're Christian and you're a Christian, but they don't like you. They think you're crazy. Bam. They're coming. At, they're coming after you. They're coming after you. And then here you are, the children, child of the light. You're like, this is not right. And they're going to devour you. This is not right. They're going to they're get you. 
they don't rejoice that you're not going to hell. In fact, they think you are going to hell. They think you're crazy. And Adi, listen, these are the children of darkness. They haven't had the veil lifted yet. They have religion, but they haven't been broken. It is better to let to, to fall upon the rock and be broken, and the rock is Jesus, than to, to, than to have the rock fall on you and be crushed under judgment. You see, these are the children of darkness coming in Jesus' name. The children of darkness aren't happy that the children of light are saved and they have a testimony. The children of darkness can't stand that you cast out devils and speak in new tongues. They're jealous. The children of darkness can't stand the fact that anyone gives you any honor because they're jealous like Cain and Abel, Joseph and his brothers, Absalom and David. Look at what Delilah did to Samson. Look at what Saul did to David because he was jealous. See, Satan and his children of darkness that come in Jesus' name are jealous against the children of light. They're in competition with them. They want what you have, but they can't get it. So they are going to try to murder your spirit. They have hatred. That's why the Bible says if your brother, if anyone claims to be a Christian in the light and he hates his brother or sister, he is a liar and the truth is not in him. You cannot hate your brother or sister in Christ. You will love them and care for their needs and go out of your way for them. You will honor them be before yourself. This is the gospel of Jesus Christ. Which gospel are you listening to? What gospel? What, who has bewitched you? Who has deceived you? You will care for the welfare of another Christian. But most of the Christians that are coming in Jesus' name on the left, the children of darkness, soon as they don't like you, you cross them, they turn into Jezebel spirit. They will come at you. They don't even know why they don't like you. They don't even, deceived people don't know they're deceived. Deceived people think they're in the truth. Deception is powerful. Satanic deception is powerful. That's why Jesus said, strive to enter into the narrow gate. Strive. Because only a few are going to enter in. Only a few. Wide is the gate that leads to destruction. And many are there that are going down that into that gate. So... I pray in Jesus' name that now you can discern the children of darkness and the children of light. There is freedom, liberty, peace, joy in the Holy Ghost, unity, power. These are the fruit of two people that are saved in fellowship. Friends, family, spouses, children, I don't care who they are, pastors, ministry workers, two people that are saved are in unity. You have the same spirit and you are on the same page and you have got, like I said, peace, joy, kindness. You got where the spirit of the Lord, you got liberty, you got freedom. You, you're just free when you're connecting with them, when you're speaking with them, when you're in the same room with them, when you're on the phone with them, when there is no connection is because there's a children of light and the children of, or children of darkness and the children of light. And you can't, they repel each other, even coming in Jesus name. I hope this helped you. I hope now you can understand why it is so vital to be equally yoked. I hope you understand why you don't get along with that Christian or professing Christian because they're not Christian. You don't even know why that person can't love you. You don't even know why they don't show you love. Well, I hope now that you know why they profess Jesus, they're in ministry, but they're children of darkness. 
They don't follow through on their word. They don't care if you're okay. They don't express their love for you and their care. Even if it doesn't work, things don't work. They don't have that, the spirit of God. They're of darkness coming in Jesus name. And they, they really believe that they're believers. We got to pray for these lost people. They're the hardest to reach. The children of light will reach out to you. They'll love. You will know that you're loved. You will feel safe. You will feel protected. You will feel joy in their presence. You won't feel cautious. Your guard will not be up. Okay. I hope this helped all of you. God has revealed this to me through his word. Where the spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. There is liberty. Liberty to talk, to walk, joy, peace. No confusion. You're not being manipulated. You don't feel, there's no games, no head games, no bitterness, no anger. Because God's whom the sun sets free is free indeed. And if you are in darkness, you're not free. You don't have the same Jesus. If you're in darkness and you're in bondage to sin, you have a different Jesus. If you are in deep depression and you got multiple personalities and you're still an alcoholic and you're still a drug addict and you're still a porn addict and you're still got tempers and you're still cussing and swearing all these years, child of darkness child of darkness the children of light jesus came to set the captives free and if you are not free you're a child of darkness in religion i love you and i pray this helped let me know if it helped have a wonderful night and I pray you meet the real Jesus and repent because your pride, your pride, you're full of arrogance and pride. Remember, the devil can bless you too. You ain't going to support the things of God because you're a child of the darkness. Take care. Have a good night. As soon as I figure out how to end this. <laughs> okay, hold on. I'll get it. I'll get it. Oh, Lord, I think I got it. Let's see. Okay.